Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're with me, Arun Sharma, and today's uh, uh, video I'm going to talk to you about uh, last-minute tips. Uh, this is part of the series of last-minute tips that I'm doing, and I've already done something on quants and uh, data interpretation, logical reasoning. Please go and have a look on that. And uh, a lot of you were requesting me to actually do something on verbal. So, <clears throat> so what what could you do uh, in the last minute for verbal uh, for VRC? So here goes. Uh, so this is uh, a video for that. And I'm no, I know this, the anxiety level is pretty high, but you don't need to be very bothered. I mean, anxiety and worry is not going to happen. So, so, so just relax a little bit and, and tell yourself or remind yourself that nothing that happens in 2022 will affect you in 2030. I mean, even if, if a bad event happens on that day. So ironically, when you, when you give yourself that, that strength, that, that thought that uh, everything in my life does not depend on the Sunday, you actually start uh, getting the best chance to, to, to perform on the day. So more on that uh, later. Maybe I'll do a couple of shots for that uh, uh, to, to give you the tips of what uh, state of mind I want you to be in. But this video being about verbal, so let's, let me just focus on, on what I think you should be doing during the last week on verbal. So first priority is to finalize your strategy. <laughs> you must have taken a lot of mock tests. You must have taken a lot of sectional tests on verbal. So you have to have a strategy about about how many verb, how many RCs you're doing, how many verb, how many uh, uh, verbal questions you're doing, whether you're doing the parajambles, whether you're doing the uh, odd man out and and the summary questions, or you're focusing on RC. So you must have a strategy. So that based on that strategy, you should now focus on 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 actually finalizing it. Uh, all your experimentations, I guess, would have been done. One RC extra, one uh, uh, one RC less. A couple of parajambles done or not done, whatever, whatever strategies you you have, you must have uh, already uh, sorted that out by now, and uh, you would have identified what works best for you. So, so just make sure that you finalize that strategy of what strategy you're going to attempt because verbal is going to be your first section, and the nervousness and anxiety is highest on and, and that time. So, just make sure that you finalize the strategy for the verbal section, uh, how you're going to take it and what you're going to do. Uh, with, with some flexibility. I mean, if, if the paper comes out to be something different from what you had expected, there has to be some flexibility, there has to be a backup plan in your strategy. Just for example, suppose uh, normally you find one very difficult uh, passage and three easy, uh, normal passages in your mocks or your uh, past cats. Suppose there are two very difficult passages, then what is your back, what, what is your backup strategy? Which question type do you go to? So you have to finalize all that. Uh, plan A and plan B both for uh, for uh, uh, your your D day. The second part is, uh, uh, of course, the strategy depends on this. So you should have your accuracy accuracy rate sorted out by now. Uh, some of you might be doing four out of four in RC is correct, or some of you might be three out of four. Others might be two out of four. So so you just need to know. When I say get your accuracy rate sorted, you need to know what your accuracy rate is in each question type, so that you are well aware of. Uh, of where you get, you get your marks and where you lose time because you're going wrong. So if you have a, a question type which is 50% correct for you, uh, it's, it's normally counterproductive because if you solve five questions, take 12-13 minutes, you'll get just two or two or, th uh, two or three right. So you'll end up getting, in 12-13 minutes, you'll get a, end up getting five, six or seven marks after negatives. So, so that is a scoring rate of only 0.5 minutes per, uh, per question, uh, per minute. So at that rate, you'll not score more than 20 marks. Right, so so get your accuracy rate sorted. You should know which which are your faster scoring areas. You should know where you can actually push your speed uh, without losing too much of accuracy. These are things that you should be uh, sorting out. And uh, uh, last but not the least, the last point I want to talk about is any desperate measures. Yeah. So so if I mean those of you whose scores are settled now, 30s, focus on getting the 30 and then move on to your other section. 40 is great, you're getting a 99 percentile in your mocks, uh, in, uh, based on your mock scores in, in the CAT on this section. So just make sure that you execute that on the D-Day. But in case you are in the tens or, 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 or single digits or early, early teens or maybe early twenties and you still are unsure that uh, whether verbal will allow you to clear, clear the cutoffs because most of these uh, colleges will ask you to get at least an 80 or 85 percentile in all three sections for you to be considered. So, so in that case, uh, any desperate measures is something that people often ask me, and I thought that I should talk about that. So first of all, let's see whether you, if, 
if your scores are not coming, maybe you can experiment with a couple of section tests, a couple of mock tests where you experiment on the comprehension uh, part, more comprehension, do, try to do one extra comprehension, try to do, uh, try, try to, I mean this is only for people who, who, who are in desperate situation. So try to reduce the, uh, maybe maybe try to reduce your time in parajumbles because that's one area is very difficult to get right, especially if it's five sentence parajumbles. Uh, we don't know what cat will get this year. So 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 just try to tweak a, tweak a strategy a little bit. Maybe maybe uh, there's a strategy error in what you're doing till now. So hopefully uh, something will get sorted out of that. And the second thing, any practice you can do now to raise your score, desperate measures again. Uh, would be if I was in your place, if I'm not getting scores, I would focus on just the reading comprehension and the summary questions of the previous years. Because when you go into, into non-CAT uh, or, or you go into mock-based uh, questions, problem kya hota hai ki there's a lot of ambiguity a lot of times. And when you're trying to learn through that, okay, what should you mark, what should you not mark, it, it kind of becomes this thing. So maybe what you can do is you can, in a desperate situation, if you are in a desperate situation, next three days, four days, solve around 50, 70, 80 RCs of the previous year questions. Go for CAT 99 to 2008 and CAT 17 to 21. Just, just solve all those RCs once uh, and, and get into that mood of getting at least a little bit jump in your, in your accuracy percentage. It might make a big difference on the DDA. So that's the, the, this thing. And, and maybe you can do a practice of parajumbles, summaries, whatever. I mean, just, just try to up your accuracy rate because Score improvement will only happen through speed improvement, more more questions, more attempts, or more accuracy. More attempts at this stage, raising your speed while solving is not advisable, especially if your accuracy rate is low uh, at the current speed. So if you raise speed, the accuracy rate will plummet even further. So, so you can't focus on raising attempts for raising score. So the only other option is raise your accuracy with the current attempts. So, so maybe get into that mode of solving RCs for four or five days. Maybe just, just the practice that you do in this last week might, might work for with, with two extra questions in the exam. That might make a big difference to your scores. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, do subscribe to the channel, to like the video, to share the video. And I'll be back with more. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.